Welcome back to the channel. Now, in this tutorial, I pretty much just want to go over or go touch on something that I forgot to do in the last tutorial, and it's pretty much uh, creating a global variable for the UI kit um, uh, library that we have installed here. So, UI kit comes with some pretty awesome uh, functions um, apart from just the UI that CSS and stuff that it provides. And that is something that um, will be very useful when you guys are creating um, UI kit projects or projects using UI kit. Now, for creating this, and I'm gonna kind of break the code a little bit. Uh, you have we have the server running already, so I have it already running. We're gonna break it a little bit, and that's pretty much just to show you guys that in view two, this is pretty much how we would go about doing it. So we would install, would import view from view. And then we'll do something like uh, view dot prototype, and then we give it a global variable name, and then for that name we'll just set that equal to view, um, UI kit. And this is something that I believe is exported from uh, UI kit here, so you can pretty much just swim through uh, through. Uh, the node modules and find UI kit, and you see how that is exported. But you can see that this already breaks the site because um, we already have the importing of this and this is not how it is used, it's done in view, in view 3. So now let's first of all get rid of this here. Still broken because obviously we don't have a view defined. So let's go ahead and actually get this working. So I can, I'll leave a link in the description for the request for comments, which shows the changes of how this is now implemented. So what we want to do in this instance is to pretty much go ahead and do constant app. So we're gonna set the instance that we're created, creating here, set it equal um, to app or have it assigned to this constant variable. The other thing that we want to do is to actually have this at the last end here, the mounting of the app. So every, this should be the last thing that is there. And I can actually show you guys what will happen if we don't have it at the last, at the end. So to create the app, um, the config now, or well, the global variable now, we'll do app.config. And then we have this global um, properties thing that I have onto it kind of makes it a little bit longer but it's what it is and then we just set a name I normally go with the dollar sign it doesn't really matter what what you use but I typical convention I guess so I just work with it and that is pretty much it it won't work now even if I go ahead and show here so in the setup it's a little bit different so I'm going to show you how uh, from normal view it's a little bit different with the setup but for normal view let's say we export um, default here and then unmounted we are going to do a this dot UI kit dot notification which is one of the functions that, that comes inside um, that comes with with UI kit and there's a lot more you could just uh, console log this to see a bunch of them so we'll just do view 3 and we'll just say view 3 plus uh, UI kit and this is what should be uh, uh, printed or not printed this notification should come up but it won't if I refresh the page you see that we get this error here that it says that notification is undefined and it's because we're actually render we mounted the app before uh, creating this global variable so let's go ahead now as I was mentioning before you have to like put this at the end so you want to ensure that you have that at the end so now you can see that we have our um, view or notification um, showing here which is pretty awesome now the one caveat that I find that I found with this um, while trying to do the implementation is that uh, because view 3 primarily what we're looking at is a setup um, setup way of doing it basically on the composition like the composition type API style even though this is pretty much optional as you can see obviously it's optional so if you don't want to do this then you don't have to uh, for this instant we for this instant we wouldn't need to do um, 
any import in here because this is a global variable you can use this pretty much all across your application so any component that you create so any of these components that you could pretty much just go into any of them and just do this dot uh dollar sign ui kit and use any one of the additional function um functions that ui kit provides uh however um what i've noticed is that for the ui kit for setup for the setup function our setup script the way that we use this is that the thing is that in setup I, as far as i can remember it's pr it's pretty much just javascript it's just plain javascript so we do not have access to this here so this will not work if we try to say this it won't work and i need to also get rid of this and i also need to change this to unmounted and that just imported it from the view runtime core and i also need to change this a little bit more this should be something like that so it's a function and it's an arrow function that points to that and typically what you think is that you could do with this and honestly i haven't really figured out figured out how to actually import this or if we can actually import the global variable i was doing some amount of research and i haven't found out if you guys know a way how to do this please leave it in the comments so that i can um be aware of it as well but the the only thing that we that i've found that actually works is for us to pretty much just go ahead well you can see already that we have an the error here that ui kit is, is um it's not defined so the way that we can fix that issue is pretty much by just going going ahead and just do ui kit import ui kit from ui kit and then we can come over here or come here and say ui well ui kit that should be and now if we save this and refresh the page then you can see that it works so the only problem is that at this point you pretty much have to import ui kit every time that you do this it's like this would kind of not make any sense if we're trying to create a global variable um, just so that we don't have to import it but the thing is as i, I think i've mentioned before is that the script setup is, is should be is optional because you can see that we can still use the, the um the export default but it just depends on how you are writing your code and you can leverage this in here if you guys as i mentioned before if you guys know a way that i can import this thing then please let me know i'll pretty i'll continue to do some more research and see if i can actually find a way to actually um have it without importing it which i don't think is the case given that even the unmount i have to import the unmount which i think would have been picked up for example like if you're using uh nox 3 it actually comes in by like by default you don't necessarily have to import it so that's pretty much it uh uh, as it relates to this so i just wanted to point out that you can you guys can actually use these global functions and and stuff and also global variables and this is pretty much how the way that you create um global variables um in view three and that's pretty much it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one